Pennsylvania tonight to release a certain restriction on nurse practitioners in order to make sure everybody can better access health care. A bipartisan group of lawmakers trying to dump the requirement that nurse practitioners contract with a doctor. Sonica Bargo joins us now with more. Sonica. Alicia, Dennis, supporters of this bill say nurse practitioners are already trained to take care of patients. Getting a doctor's sign off is an unnecessary hurdle and it limits access to health care for people who need it the most. My relationship with the nurse practitioner, that becomes almost like a lifesaver. Betty Gray lives in Columbia County and for her, health care is a priority. I have a, a debilitating incurable disease called lipedema. But when nearby Berwick Hospital closed, Gray nearly lost her regular nurse practitioner. Very seriously, I was like, oh no, where am I going to find? Um, primary care. There was no um, cavalry of physicians that were going to descend upon Berwick. Gray's nurse practitioner was able to open a private practice with a physician, allowing Gray to continue seeing her. But not everyone has that option. It's extremely difficult to find a physician who's willing to take on new patients number one, and number two, we'll take on Medicaid patients. State Senator Camera Bartolotta is trying to make it easier for nurse practitioners to do their work. We've got 18,000 nurse practitioners in Pennsylvania, ready, willing, able, trained, talented, efficient, safe, ready to go. Right now, they need two doctors to sign off. Sometimes the closest doctor is hours away. Bartolotta's bill would remove that requirement after three years. It is absurd to hinder the ability of our incredible army of good nurse practitioners to do what they do best. Her colleagues in the state house introducing a similar bill. It knocks down barriers for nurse practitioners to provide care to their patients. Patients like Gray, who says without her nurse practitioner. I would have had to have found someone somewhere and prayed that I got an appointment. I also reached out to the Hospital and Health System Association of Pennsylvania. Their president tells me this bill could help ease the workforce shortage, especially in rural areas where access to health care is already a struggle. Live at the Capitol, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. All right.